guys welcome back to my channel once again this is Betty owner and creator of Betty's custom design here on YouTube Etsy Facebook and Instagram so I figured I would bring you guys along um, I was cleaning out my junk mail and I had several of these um, window envelopes from um, different pieces of junk mail this one doesn't have a window. I don't know if we'll do anything with it today. Um, but I figured I would bring you guys along as we do this. And let me show you um, the prototype. This is in my actual planner, so y'all have to excuse how big and bulky this is. But this is kind of similar to what we're going to do. Um, this one was not made with an envelope, but it's the same basic idea with the, um, the flipping out. Um, so if you can imagine it like without that piece there. So that's what we're going to do is something very similar to that today. So let me see if I can find my cutter. Um, okay. So what we're going to do is I have just opened the ends of the envelope and um, made sure I, you know, kind of cut across the top there. Um, so I want to square it up um, just because my cutting skills are not the best. And also this size right here is too big. Um, I'm going to have to zoom you guys out some because I can see I'm already going to be out. Hopefully that's not too far out. I'm just trying to get it to where um, y'all can see everything. Um, most of my journals are only uh, maybe seven, seven and a half inches tall. So I know that this is going to be too big. So I'm going to go ahead and trim this off. And my label printer is getting in my way. Let's see if we can do this so that you guys can see more of what I'm doing. Well, hopefully you guys can see because, yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna keep the um, the window part and I am just going to um, trim this and I'm gonna go maybe six and three quarters um, just because I like to have a little bit of room at the top and the bottom. Okay, so now we have our envelope like this. Now the next thing I need to figure out, which in this situation, it doesn't matter because I don't have a particular book um, that I'm going to put it in. I'm just trying to see if I... Well, well, let me just grab this. So, this is the um, little pre-made book that we are working on. Um, so, it would all depend on it, how I want it. If I want the um, window, if I want it to open this way, then I will need to cut this part off. Um, and it really, I'm gonna need to cut that part off anyway because that's gonna be the best way to work. Forget what I just said. I'm being goofy. It's one of them days I'm thinking of something completely different. So I'm going to, we've already got a fold there. So I am just going to cut, um, I'm going to leave maybe three quarters of an inch past that fold. And then I'm going to cut that off. I'm having one of them days, guys. Yeah, that was just so goofy. All right, so the next thing I am going to do is I'm just going to trim those edges down just a little bit. Not a lot. And I do want to round the corners, which I will have to go back in and round them later. And I'll show you why. Now, the next thing I want to do before I do anything else to this, I do want to ink it up because just in case any of the white edges show, I want it to be all inked up and purdy. I don't want people to be able to say, see that this is a USA envelope. No. I don't even want them. Well, yeah, they kind of want them to know it's an envelope. But, 
you know, I just like the look of the ink edges. Okay, now I do want to ink around this. And I'm going to just do it like this real quick because I can wipe it off of the, um, the acetate right now. I can get my paper towel and wipe it off better, but that would be too easy. Way too easy. So I'm sorry, I should have inked this before I got on here, but somebody wasn't thinking. Yep. I was just having one of my moments, obviously. Okay, so now, this is what we need to figure out how we want it to fold. If we want it to open this way, then our envelope, our window would be up here at the top. If we want it to open this way, our envelope is going to be more at the bottom. That's what I was having my moment on. So, um, I think I'm going to do it this way. So that means that the envelope is going, I mean, the window is going to be on the bottom. So I need to make sure that everything is going um, up this way. Now, you can, there are a number of different ways to cover this. I could take and um, simply glue straight down, but what fun is that? Um, so I think what we're going to do is collage this. And I have got a little bit more, and I don't know what I've done or if I even have any more of the, um, the tacky, um, the label paper that I had printed on. I don't know if I have any more of that left or, I mean, I know I have some more of the labels left, but I don't know if I've already got some that I've printed on. So we're just gonna go with this for right now. Now what I'm gonna do is just, I'm kind of looking at, and I, it will go over the edges and I, that's fine because I, I don't mind it going over the edges around the outside because I can trim that. Um, but I wanna try and keep it pretty much away from the, um, the actual window. And so that's all I'm doing is just kind of eyeballing it and then um, gluing it down. And so I'm just looking, you know, and it's not, and it doesn't have to be perfect because it's okay if there's a little bit here and there on the window, that's perfectly fine. Um, that'll just give it some character, but I don't want the entire window covered or, you know, um, I want it to be a little bit random or as random as possible. And so that's all I'm doing. And then you, this is a good thing that you could use these strips for, would be to go around the um, window and trim it. I don't know if that's something that we're going to do today or not. Um, simply for the fact that I'm just, I'm trying to get some videos done. Um, I'm actually filming this on Sunday, September 26th. Um, because tomorrow I actually start my new job. And I'm just, you know, I'm not sure how my um, schedule is going to be. I don't, you know, it might take me a little bit to get into the swing of things with the new job. And so I don't want you guys to miss any videos. I want to make sure that I have videos up for you guys. Um, even if I'm not able to actually record for a bit. Um, and then I do know that tomorrow I have a couple of um, inventory orders coming in. So that's going to kind of make things a little crazy as well. So that's just, you know, that's some of the reason behind me going ahead and trying to get some um, videos done for you guys. We just got, um, like I said, I'm a planner, and so I know that this stuff is coming up. And so I want to be prepared so that it doesn't just catch me off guard. And then I have to go, I have church tonight, um, play, I play in the drums, and so I really can't miss um, 
which I wouldn't want to miss anyway. That that didn't sound right, but um, so I don't have a lot of time to just um, make the videos without um, it being filmed ahead of time. So we might end up using some of these strips. I'm gonna go ahead and ink this like right here because we might use those to kind of trim around the window there. I think that would look good. So let's do that. And I'm always, I have tons of this, these strips like this and I'd much rather use it than, you know, just throw it away. And it's okay that the white is on there because um, we are actually going to be covering the white up. Um, but this just makes it easier um, for getting right there at that window. Um, let's see. Yep, this one will fit right there. And I think it looks pretty good actually, so. That's the good thing. And you're using up your scraps. Okay, and then we'll do one of these across there. And I'm just, you know, I'm eyeballing it. There, there no rhyme or reason. I'm just eyeballing it, it's all I'm doing. Now let's finish um, doing the front of this. So see, now that I have um, this little strip there, I can actually use a smaller piece here than what I did have. Um, and so it just makes it a little bit easier. And then like I said, it is using up some of that scraps that otherwise would have been thrown away. So that's always good. Look at that. So how many of you guys have projects or something going right now? If you do have a project going, please comment below and let me know what you're working on. I would love to know. Um, if you haven't already joined the Facebook group, make sure you do that. Um, I do a freebie Friday, um, obviously on Fridays, except for this week it happened to be on Sunday because somebody forgot on Friday. <laughs> um, also, there is a link down below for my Buy Me A Coffee. Do not feel obligated or pressured in any way to do that. Um, I will say that the ones that have, it is a blessing because this craft stuff gets expensive. Um, and I wanna make sure that I continue to have content for you guys. So I, um, we do have to buy this stuff that we use, which is perfectly fine. It's not a problem, um, but it does help. Um, the Buy Me A Coffee definitely helps. So um, just check it out. And again, I promise you, you will not hurt my feelings in the least if you do not um, donate to that. Not a worry at all, so don't even stress. All right, let's see, we got this piece. We may have to get into it. And we may only get one of these done today just because I'm trying to keep my videos about 30 minutes long. Um, just for, okay, let me be honest. I don't know that I could keep my train of thought for an hour. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm just being real with you guys. I don't know that I could. Um, yeah. My ADHD and all that stuff just kind of goes blitz whenever it's beyond a certain little time frame. So that's one of the biggest reasons. <laughs> I mean, I'm just, I'm not going to lie to y'all. I just, uh, you know, it's like my, my attention span isn't much longer than about 30 minutes. And so I'm like, mm, okay, that, what am I going to do now? 
so that's how I work. That's why I have so many lists. Um, my husband, he gets so tickled at all of the um, calendars and planners that I have because I have so many and they're all do the same type job. And he's like, why on earth do you have so many? And I was like, you don't understand. If I don't have that many, then I will forget, you know, because I can be working on a task. And then when my ADHD kicks in and I have to do something different, if I don't have a calendar or a list or a note as to what I was doing and what I was working on and why, I'm, I'm done. I, I'm just completely done. I don't know. I can't go back and just pick it up. It, it escapes me. So that's one reason why I have so many lists is to keep me on track because it's easy for me to get off track. Very easy. And I might have too much glue on that and I do. So we're just gonna wipe some of that off. Because again, somebody wasn't paying attention. Not calling any names there. All right, so let's see. Um, I think I want to do it this way. Let's do it this piece. It's just simply for the fact that something different. You know, I like doing something different every now and then. Every now and then. I am really not somebody that likes to do a lot of things different. I am more a creature of habit. Very much a creature of habit. I just, I prefer to keep everything going the same way that it should go. And that's just me. When my husband and I go out to eat, I already know it depends on the restaurant as to what I'm having for dinner that night. Because I only get the same things at the same restaurants. <laughs> I do. I don't try anything out. All right, on the back, let's go with, um, I don't know, let's just see how it would look doing just this and maybe the blue stripe. So it still kind of complements the paper, but it's contrasting all at the same time. If that makes sense to you guys, hopefully it does. Okay, remember we can use those. So now let's do that to the blue. This is the blue stripe. And then we will add go around the, um, <clears throat> excuse me, the actual window. So let's do that. Let's go around the window and let's ink up our strip here. That's what we're going to try right now. Okay, and I'm just going to see about how big I need it. And then I'm just going to tear it. And then I'm going to glue this down. Okay, so on this one, we want to be careful and make sure that we do not go beyond that white because if we do, then the underside of whatever we're gluing down is going to show through from the front side. So you want to be really careful with that. Unless it doesn't bother you, and if it doesn't bother you, then by all means, go as far into that as you want to. But for me, I like to try and keep it uniform. And then I think I'm going to put some pink down at the top and the bottom. Just cause, just cause I want to. And again, it's, I'm keeping it off of the, um, above the white. You do not want that. So you have to, you know, kind of be really careful on your placement. And let's ink this one. 
And I hope I am staying on camera, guys. I apologize if I'm not. I've got to learn to do better about that. I definitely do. I will try. Okay, let's um, rip a little bit of this up. It doesn't need to be much. And I think those pieces are too big. And then let's do a little bit of this blue. Okay. Now, let's see. What do we want to do? Let's go ahead and trim the um, front side from... You can see along the back here, it's easy to see where the envelope is. So that's why this is easy to trim right now. So that's all I'm doing is just going along and trimming right along the edge of the envelope. And I should have already done that right there. Oh, thankfully it wasn't that bad because uh, Somebody had already glued down like a goofball without trimming. Yeah, I'm going to have to clean these scissors tonight. I can see it since I'm just cutting all of this wet stuff and not really even waiting for it to dry. So my scissors are going to be a gunky mess. Okay, so you want to take it right up to that fold, but do not cut your fold. Okay, so now let's put some stuff on back here. Let me just ink a few things up. Let's just start laying some stuff down. And I didn't even look to see if this was going to fit anywhere, but I know it will. And we're just going to butt it right up to the edge of that. All right, let's put some blue down. Just simply because we can. And I think I do like it there, even though it's blue on blue. It's, they're going in opposite directions. So I am good with that. And I'm not taking it all the way to the window there. Uh, let's see, let's get a piece of pink here. Not need to. Let's put a piece of this rose in it. See, there's no reason, there's no rhyme, there's no rules. You just do what you enjoy. And if this is something you enjoy, then do it and do it with your entire heart because it can be so much fun and rewarding. Okay. There's that, and I think I had some of the blue left. It looks like I cut it, oh, it's where I cut it off, but you know what, we're gonna use it. Because we're probably gonna end up cutting that little bit off anyway. Because we're gonna just stick it right there, maybe. Okay. I'm really trying to stay on camera, guys, but it looks like I keep getting off. I'm just not used to working so far away from my face. Um, what about if we put this piece right there? I think that'll look good. And I only have to put glue on just a little area of it. Because that's all that I'm actually going to be gluing down. And then we need something along the top. <laughs> okay, so we could put, let me see, I think we could get by with one of these strips, and make sure you check out Miss Edith's channel, I know she has been talking about decorating with the little strips like this, um, Corey Dahman, I think is who she she said. Um, so check them out to see how, you know, different ways you can use your, um, your um, scraps up. It just makes it easier on you when you're, you know, decorating and 
you can use the scraps. And I like using scraps anyway, so we're good. And then I'm just going to put that piece there. I know it doesn't really go and it doesn't really match, but that's the whole joy of it. I love it. That's what matters. And that's even kind of on upside down that I'm good with that. All right, so now I need to trim this up. And I'm just following along the line of the envelope. Nothing fancy at all. And then I'll show you the last thing. And we're just going to show you to give you an idea. And then we're going to have to call it a video. Because, like I said, i got more to do. All right, so I'm closing that back down. And then I'm going to cut this along the side. Just to get it even. Okay. Now, if you want to cover this, you absolutely can. It is not going to hurt anything. So, let me see. Um, let me grab a journal. Okay, so as you remember, we have it to where it's going to fold over this way. And I need to trim that off a little bit more. It does not go all the way to the fold. And so, it is making it difficult to fold. All right. So, if this was placed in my journal, we're going to say this is a journal page. We would take and glue this on right here or washi tape it, whatever. But look how it looks with that rose right there. It makes it look like it is framing that image. And then they can open it. And you can have hidden um, journal spots under there. You can even, um, um, trying to think, maybe go like right in here and do those flippy fold out pockets. Um, what else? There's so much more you can do um, once you have the basic idea down. So we're going to call this video done for today. Um, I didn't decorate it or anything, but you guys know how to decorate. Um, but this is the basic that you have now. And so go make you some, tag me on um, Facebook or uh, Instagram. Show me what you're making. I would love to see it. And thank you guys so much for watching. I'll talk to you on the next video, guys. Bye.